Non-fungible tokens or NFTs are one of the biggest things to happen so far in 2021. Artists and musicians have crowded into the space. Everybody started creating their own works of art and selling their music and all kinds of stuff. And as someone who is fascinated by crypto and music, I've been paying close attention to what's been happening with NFTs. And so last week I decided to test my hand at this and I made a few of my very own NFTs. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. What's up guys. It's Tom. Welcome back to the lab and welcome back to my life. Last week, I decided to make my very own NFTs. I made a series of trading cards based off of the artwork from all of my releases that I have released so far. And I made several versions of them and uploaded them to a platform called OpenSea. And so in today's video, I'm going to walk you through the exact process I took to make and upload those NFTs and then ultimately put them for sale. Now, before we dive into this, I want to remind you that every Friday on YouTube, we go live for an hour at 1 p.m. Central Time. We talk about music marketing, branding, business, and anything else you guys want to jam on. We can even talk about non-fungible tokens. You can ask me questions directly, or you can talk to all the other cool people who are in the community around this channel. Everybody is helpful, nice, super cool, and working hard to build their career as an independent artist. So if you do have questions, or if that just sounds like the kind of community you would like to be a part of, I hope you'll join us this Friday at 1 p.m. All right, non-fungible tokens. I made my own. Let's talk about how we did it. Well, first of all, you have to create a file that you want to sell. Now, people are selling all kinds of things. People are selling original works of art. They're selling videos. Some people are selling the exclusive rights to songs. I decided to sell trading cards. I wanted to create a series of trading cards based off of the cover art for my releases and I'm making a limited set of each one. So I've created seven custom trading cards with the ultimate goal of creating a series of 10. And there are only 100 copies of each card that will ever be available in circulation. And you can make all these rules when you upload your file and create, you actually mint, is what it's called, mint your token. So here's an example of one of the cards that I made. This is based off of my most recent release, Holding On. And as you can see, the file is just a GIF file of this trading card style gif just bouncing up and down and it's got a little animation to it so it looks cool and catches your eye and i made one for each of my releases that has vocals in it that i have dropped so far on spotify so here's one for lions and so on and so forth now before you can upload anything to openc you're gonna have to have a wallet what i chose to use is a wallet called MetaMask. MetaMask is a great Ethereum wallet. It connects to everything and it has a Chrome extension. So what you wanna do is go to MetaMask's website, download the mobile app for your phone, get everything set up there. And then if you're using Chrome, which I suggest that you do for this, I'm using Chrome, go to the Chrome web store and download the MetaMask extension for Chrome. This is gonna allow you to connect directly to the NFT marketplace platform and get everything organized through there. This is kind of like, it's both your wallet to hold your currency in that you're gonna have to pay some fees in. And it's also what you use to authorize transactions and sign in essentially. So once you've created a piece of art or a song or whatever it is you wanna sell, for me, it was a GIF. And then you've downloaded your MetaMask wallet and you've installed the MetaMask Chrome extension, you're gonna have to get your hands on some ETH and put it into your wallet because you're gonna need it to pay for transactions. I recommend starting with about a hundred bucks worth. That should be plenty to cover everything that you need to pay for to mint stuff and sign up and all that. So I can put out another video on that later on how to actually get it into your wallet if you want me to. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna assume that you kind of know how this works. So download your wallet, fill it up with ETH, and then you're gonna need to go to a platform to actually sell and mint or mint then sell your NFTs. And I used a platform called OpenSea. So OpenSea.io bills itself as the largest NFT marketplace. And I've heard it compared to eBay. And I think that's a pretty apt comparison. You can buy non-fungible tokens on here and you can resell them. You can trade them. Uh, you can mint your own and sell them, which is what I've done. Uh, but you don't have to mint anything. You can just buy something from somebody else and then flip it. It's actually a pretty great way to earn a few extra bucks if you have the time. You go to OpenSea. 
And in the top right corner, you're going to log in with your MetaMask wallet. Now I'm already logged in, but what you'll do is you'll click on this and a MetaMask pop-up will pop up and you'll sign in using your MetaMask wallet. And then your profile will be created. And then you can go in and you can customize your profile. Uh, you can add like your, your name, you can update your picture and stuff like that. As you can see, I've added my pictures in here, the same ones I use on everything else. So, you know, it's me. Uh, I've got a little bio here. I've got my public address for the uh, profile. And then I've got all the NFTs that I have minted so far. And when you start, you're not going to have anything here, obviously, but we're going to get to that. So once you have signed in using your wallet, uh, you'll go to create. And when you go to create, hover over that and go to my collections. And when you get to my collections, you'll create a new collection. As you can see, I've already got my collection, Tom Dupree III Digital Collectibles, uh, but you can go to create. When you click create, you'll add a, uh, an image for it. You'll call it something, and then you'll give it a description. And you'll click create from there. And once you click create, if we go into my, my little store here, basically, I'll go to edit, and you'll be able to see kind of... So here's a great example. I clicked edit, and I'm going to need to sign into this section of OpenSea just to uh, make these edits. So if I click sign, we can go in here and now I can edit my collection. And this is where you can add all the different customizable things for your actual collection. You can customize your URL, update your images, your profile image, things like that. You can add a description. You can add other links that go to other stuff uh, where you're represented. You can enter a commission fee, which is really cool. So if I sell a non-fungible token and then you resell it, uh, I get 10% of that sale and every subsequent sale. So every time anything I've created, if I'm the originator, anytime any of that changes hands, I get a percentage off of every sale. So that's pretty dope that you can do that through this stuff. And because everything is kept track of on blockchain, everything is is uh, issued by smart contract. Nobody has to do anything. It just happens automatically, which is rad. Going through, like you can see, you know, there's my public address for my wallet. Anybody wants to send me money, that's fine. And you can uh, kind of update everything. And then once you've got your collection all set up, you've got NFTs minted and stuff, you can submit it for review. And that will allow you to send it to OpenSea and they can look through it and then decide whether or not your profile is visible. Mine still isn't visible yet. It's still under review, but eventually, hopefully it will become visible and then it's searchable and all kinds of other stuff. You can drive traffic to it directly before it's visible, but you can't search for it on OpenSea. Now I'm going to show you how to mint an actual NFT. But before we do that, let's recap the steps real quick. You've created a piece of art a digital piece of art. You have downloaded an Ethereum wallet, preferably MetaMask. You have connected the MetaMask extension to your browser. You've signed into OpenSea. You've created your profile. You've created your collection. And now it's time to create a non-fungible token to sell as part of your collection. So if you go to your collection page, or you can go up to create at the top and you can click, uh, go to submit NFTs, you're going to be taken back to your collection page. So you end up at your collection page. You're going to go to add new item, And this is where we create our NFT. So in this case, we will drag and drop a file or upload one rather. So we'll start with uh, the holding on GIF. So we'll upload the same GIF for holding on. We'll give it a name. We'll call this holding on trading card. You can add an external link so that somebody can learn more about your NFT. I don't have one in any of mine, but it is an option you can put in. And then you can give it a description. We'll put uh, this trading card is one of seven, only 100 minted there. And once you've added your description, your title, all that stuff, you can add additional properties to this that show up as different things. So. Like if these were actual like game trading cards, you can add which character this is. Like what are the stats of the character? Uh, all kinds of really cool, like kind of collectible type of features. Uh, you can add different levels. Like, you know, does <laughs> what powers does this character have? And what level of, of out of how many is that? Uh, and all kinds of different stuff, which is really neat. And then after that, another thing you can do 
is you can add unlockable content to your non-fungible token. So for example, as musicians, if you wanted to add like an additional piece of downloadable content to accompany your token. So if I like wanted to give you a free download of my song, if you buy this card, this is where I can do that. I can click the little box here next to unlockable content. And then I can drop like a Dropbox link in here or a Google Drive link that has my song in it so that when you buy this card, you get exclusive access to a free download of the song. Or maybe I can add like an exclusive version, like an acoustic version of the song that nobody has heard before that's not posted anywhere. So if you buy this card, you and only the people who buy this card will ever hear that song unless one of you posts it on the internet, which, you know, would probably happen. But you get exclusive access to it by buying this, which is a really cool feature. And then the last thing you can do is you can actually create multiple copies of your token. So right now I have it at one. For all the cards I've created already, I have 100 copies of them. So it's a capped limit of 100 that will ever be made. But because they're trading cards, I thought, well, we should make multiple versions of them, right? One thing on supply, they've got this question mark here. It says supply, the number of copies that can be minted. No gas cost to you. Quantities above one coming soon. Uh, I don't know why it's like that. I created a hundred of each. If we click on that and we go to how does the token supply work, it's going to give you this rundown of basically what this means. Unique items have a maximum supply of one, meaning only one copy can ever be minted. This is what a non-fungible token NFT usually refers to. What is minting? Minting is an action that brings an item into existence on the blockchain and costs gas to do so. Minting on OpenSea is lazy, meaning it only occurs when necessary. And this is one of the reasons I chose OpenSea is because you can mint multiple tokens for free as opposed to other platforms you have to pay every time you do it. So on OpenSea, when you transfer an item to another account, something gets minted. When someone buys an item from you, it gets minted. This means that you can create as much as you want here for free. And then we go to how is supply enforced? The maximum supply hard cap of your token will be encoded in its ID. This allows the smart contract to check whether any more are allowed to be minted. So basically when I set this maximum number, that is it for all time. It's algorithmically and cryptographically set so that it can't be changed. And once you've done all of this, you'll click create. Now, the first time you click create on this, you are going to have to pay a fee. Now I did this step on my phone. So I have a screenshot of it. It ended up costing me about $57 to create my collection. And it's a one-time fee to create the collection. And then you can add as many NFTs to the collection as you want, which is clearly what I did. I just kept going and added seven trading cards with a hundred copies of each. And I did all of that for free or basically one flat rate of 57 bucks. Now, every time one of these things sells, I will have to pay a gas fee, which is why they're priced higher than like five bucks because I'm gonna have to pay fees in ETH. And right now it's a little pricier than you might want it to be. So you have to cover your costs of actually minting the thing for real when somebody actually buys it. And then there's one last step that you have to take once you have minted your non-fungible token. You actually have to list it for sale. So if I go to the profile of it, you can see I have one that is currently listed. But if I wanna sell another one, I'll click sell. And here under the sell page, you can set a price or you can bundle it together with a bunch of them. So I can create a bundle of all these trading cards and sell that, or I can sell one at a time. So. Selling one at a time, I can put like, you know, 0.1 of ETH. We'll start there. And then it will list it as 0.1 ETH, which is what it's listed as right now. And I can schedule it for a future time. I can keep it private and do whatever. Uh, and then I'll click post my listing. And once you post your listing, it's for sale. And it'll stay up until somebody buys it or until somebody bids on it. So somebody can make an offer for your NFT as well. They don't have to buy the product at the buy now price. Somebody can offer you five bucks for it or whatever. You want to take it? Take it. Cool. Why not? So that's it. That's how I made my non-fungible tokens. That's how I made all these NFTs. Uh, just a one flat fee paid in ETH through your wallet. And after that, you can make as many as you want to. It's, it's a little daunting at first, but once you get the hang of it, you can fly through, you can create as much as you want. And through OpenSea, you can do it all for free, which is awesome. I know I breeze through a lot of stuff in this video. I'm aware of that. There's a lot to cover and I wanted to kind of hit all the main points. If you want me to dig deeper into any specific step of this stuff, let me know in the comments. And specifically, 
I really kind of skipped over how I actually made the file itself, how I made the trading card, made it animate and all that stuff. If you want me to make a video about that, please let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to do so. And if you want me to make a follow-up video to this, kind of digging into some of the particulars a little bit further about the whole like minting process, I'm happy to do that as well. Now, before I let you go, I want to remind you, if you don't subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button, like this video if you dig it, share it with your friends if you really liked it, and uh, make sure you turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos in the future. Now at the end here, got a couple things you can check out. And as always, I appreciate you being here and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.